Maine Lake Camp. Is that what you're looking for? A camp on a big lake in Maine? You're in luck today. I'm Maine Realtor Andy Moores. Thanks a lot for visiting the Maine Real Estate Channel. What's the address? 461 Sandy Beach Road, Danforth. It's on East Grand Lake, which is the eighth largest in the state. We're just going through the Million Dollar View region in Weston, which is pretty scenic. There's a lot to do when you're up to camp in Maine. Stay tuned. Sometimes the hard part is describing the property. Because I know you're busy, you only have so much time, you're looking for something specific for Maine real estate. Camp. What's a camp conjure up in your mind? Do you think of a one-room affair? Maybe an outhouse out back? A lot of camps up here are pretty big mansion. They've got the granite or four bathroom setup. They're not really camps in the woods. Simple living, camping. Camping used to mean in a tent or out under the stars if you were a cowboy out west. So anyway, we have to describe this property to meet your expectations so you don't come into the channel and then, oh no, that's not what you're looking for. So, camp. What do you call a cabin? I know, I think a log too. Like a log cabin. Uh, what about a vacation place? That's across the gamut, even in Maine. It can be real swanky, a palatial home, or it can be pretty basic, just a shell maybe it was made by the Amish or a local log homemaker. So once we look at the property, make comments down below. What do you call this? We're calling it a main lake camp. Correct me, I sit corrected if I'm wrong. But we want it to be what you expected it to be. So stay tuned, we're gonna take the corner, the two mile curve, and then we're gonna be on the sandy beach road before you know it. This is where you can park your boat on the right, straight ahead goes right into the landing, the boat launch for Greenland Cove. This is the Sandy Beach Road. It's not a town maintained road, but if you join the association, you pay your dues, you get the benefit of the road in pretty good shape year round. Turquoise is the color that outlines the boundary lines. This is your road frontage. Here's your northeast corner. So you've got rebars on the corners, which makes it nice. Here's your right away to the water. You're one row back. So everything's so much cheaper, plus you got a lot more space, bigger lot to work with. This is the really nice live edge place in front of you. And they get along great with all the neighbors. This is where you're going to spend your time in a boat, kayaking, fishing, swimming. You have the access with a lot right across the street. But again, the price tag so much cheaper, so are your property taxes. But you're on the same eighth largest lake in the state of Maine. Is this what you're looking for, a Maine lake camp? One that you can afford and still have your kids go to college? Or that you don't have to sell a duplicate organ to pull it off? Maine is vacation land, and when you don't spend a fortune, it's even more fun. Your porch is about 12 long, 6 wide, lots of glass, see the lake? You're one row back. 32 by 16 is your camp with a metal roof, 3 bedrooms, knotty pine on the walls in the living area. It's just a camp, but you've got conveniences like power, a drilled well. No wasted hall space, and there's three bedrooms for your buddies, your loved ones, your family. 
Is there work to do? You betcha. You got a little job jar. Hope you got some friends that are plumbers, electricians, and carpenters. Here's your shower. You got an outhouse. You could modify this and make it more full blown, but how often are you going to use this place up in Maine? So two bedrooms on one side, one bedroom in the bath on the other end. See your circuit panel in the corner? Some sheetrock, but most of it knotty pine. You'll be on the snowmobile trails, the ATV trails, but you do have to sleep sometime. Here's the other two bedrooms. A window to overlook the lake in this one. This is the front bedroom. A set of bunk beds in this one for the littler kids. Here's your drilled well. You've got an in and out driveway. Come in, head right out, no backing up. So what do you think? It's a main lake camp, just a camp. You're going to spend a lot more time outside, on the trails, out on the lake, going into town, meeting other campers and going down to their house to play cards or to have a potluck supper. This is a great place for your kids to ride bikes, to get off the couch, off a device, and on a trail machine. Maybe they like to four wheel or snow sled. I know I had a mini bike as a kid. My four kids all did too, and they explored all over creation. This is a camp up in Maine. It's not a travel trailer you pull around that chews up a lot of fuel. It's an investment. You own the land. You could rent it out when you're not using it. The same people will rent it every single year. But it is just a camp. 32 by 16 with a 12 by 6 open front porch. Metal roof. It's got a little gas heater that's never been used. There's a drilled well on the south end of the property. Just has a little outhouse, but you could add a septic system and we'll help you figure out who would do that for me as a local provider and what's the process. I mean Realtor Andy Moore's Maine Lake Camp, one for sale for not a lot of money. Buy it with your sporting buddies, some of your relatives, the guys that like to hunt and fish and snow sled and hit the trails. And if they happen to be a carpenter, an electrician, or a plumber, all the much better. Three bedrooms means plenty of room for everybody. Please look down below, down in the Show More region, read more. It's got the price, it's got how to get hold of us, and there's also information on our contact ability. Just call, text, come visit us, whatever works best. We know you're in a hurry, and we appreciate you hanging around to the very end. Please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to our channel if you're not already a member. We'll see you next time with another simple run-and-gun video. They're not designed to be highly entertaining. They're not very highly polished but they're helpful. They save you running the roads eight hours from Rhode Island, six and a half hours from Boston to know is this worthwhile or not. We get it. We don't want to waste your money. We'll see you next time on the Maine Real Estate Channel.